All right, I just picked me up a skid steer, Kubota SVL 75. It's a 2012, it is an enclosed cab. However, uh, the cab doors broke. It wouldn't stay open, it wouldn't stay shut. So that's the first thing I have to fix. <clears throat> uh, one of the lights is a little dim, so I gotta investigate that. And the most concerning thing to me right now is you cannot see any hydraulic fluid <clears throat> in the sight glass. So it does run, it moves, it operates. It does sound a little funny. So I'm going to investigate that and find out what's going on. So we will flip the cab up with these two little bolts right there and right there. Take those out and flip the cab up and see what's going on. So I already changed the gear oil in this machine on the finals and I swear it looked like <sighs> it looked like those bolts for the drain and the fill had never been taken off. So I would not be surprised. And in the 2100 hours of services on this meter this thing has never been seen this this has never seen service which is very concerning but this is my first track later so uh you don't really start off buying the best you buy what you can afford Right. Let's see what we got under the hood. So listen, I know I ain't the strongest guy in the world, but holy hell, that thing won't budge. Uh, it'll move. Like with my bar, with my pry bar. I can see it moving. But I definitely think that it's stuck all the way around. Something must be up with that. I don't know that I'm that that I'm that weak. I don't know if these pistons are bad and they didn't provide any help with picking the thing up, or if it was stuck on there some on the frame. I don't know, but that just doesn't seem right. Jeez, oh man, I don't think it's ever been opened before. You look at some of the telltale signs. Those hoses. Look how black and clean 
Look at that. That's like from the factory. And there's where the hoses are laying. Right there and right there. I bet you this thing's never been serviced. Wow. I hope it's okay. The no hydraulic fluid is a little concerning. Good night. Well, all we can do is give us some TLC and take care of it from here on out. It's a little wet down in there. I hope that's just water. So I have a little bit of work to do before I do any fluids. I'm going to pressure wash it, clean it up. I don't see any other wet spots. Yeah, that looks like, that just looks like mud. Oh my, look at all that dirt. <laughs> so we'll have to get underneath to drop the belly pans or the uh, cover plates and get all this washed out so let's do that 17 mil for all the belly plates so we're going to take them all off man I'm so bummed out right now to think that this machine has never been serviced it would just be I don't know spend all that money for your business <sighs> only to find out that no one cared for the machine you bought <clears throat> that sucks There are the plates. Typical, unfortunately. And if we go under the belly of the beast, here we see more typical crap. This action isn't too bad. And then here's the one that's completely packed. And that's not too bad. still a shame that people let these machines get like this.
All right, pressure washing finished, and I'm glad I was wrong because that hydraulic filter right there has hours marked as 882 2017. It is November 2021, so at least it was probably changed once or twice. That filter, anyway. So, got everything sprayed off. Now I can see what I'm working with, and we'll have to get in that hydraulic tank right there and drain it. I didn't see a spot underneath the machine where you can drain it. I'll have to look again. But here is the fancy little super duper secret compartment underneath the foot well where uh, Kubota claims by their mat that you can put tools down in there. But I tell you what, there was about 50 pounds of sand and dirt and crap down in there. So who in their right mind would put tools down there? But it's all cleaned out now. And underneath is cleaned out, pressure washed. all the crap that came out there that's clean cleaner so we'll continue our maintenance get that hydraulic fluid well, actually I don't even think I have to drain it because there's nothing in it according to the sight glass so I may just open that up and try to, I don't know, see what's in there, take the filters out, replace the filters and put the oil in. Alright, the good news is there's fluid in there. It does not look healthy. It is really dark. But there is fluid. So that's good. But it also means that that sight glass is, I guess, plugged up somewhere. And it's not allowing fluid to flow in there. But we've got fluid. Well, I'll say three quarters of that is full of fluid. So that's good. So we'll get that drained out. I don't know how I'm going to drain it out. I think I can just take that bottom hose off and then just let it flow out from underneath the skid steer. Drain it out. We'll take the filter off. We'll change the breather out as well. So this alone will take four filters. There's four filter. Uh, there's two filters in here. The breather and then. Apparently there's 10 gallons in the tank and 15 in the system, I believe.
There's one of the filters. so bad oh my gosh oh, okay round three Here is the secret to this job. So for that filter, uh, I'm, I'm calling it a filter. For that filter right there, those two bolts, you got to take those out. Those are keeper bolts to keep that filter from spinning. All right, so this is what I'm trying to get after. This is the suction strainer. And there's a rather large uh, wrench fitting on that thing. It's huge. And I find that these vice grip pliers are a lot better than my other channel locks. And I just, ergonomically, they didn't seem to work very well. Hopefully, these will. I got to get a bigger wrench. I'm going to buy a wrench to fit that uh, that big nut on that filter. And I'm going to have to grind it down so it's shorter or cut it off so it's shorter and then get it in there and then get it in there and unloosen it. But for now, we'll go ahead and replace that breather. There's the old one. There's the new one. And there is the number four. So we'll just put that little guy in there. I don't think there's a direction to it. I wouldn't think so. We'll put the number side up. Okay. All right, so let's try our hand here at this hydraulic fluid filter. Man, like, this is like a stout. That thing got some, it got some weight to it.
really Kubota. Is all that necessary? Holy jumping. All right, new hydro filter, y'all. There's a number. All right, so I just put fluid in the filter and look at how beautiful and clear that is. That's, it's like water. But yet the stuff that come out of it is just so yucky and scummy looking. That's, that is amazing. Twenty one sixty two errors. This is Thirteen November twenty one. There you go. Two and, an eight, two and an eighth inch wrench. Times two. Why does that thing have to be so tight? Why?
Why the hell would you do that? The wrench is a little too big. I could cut it down some more. I tried the channel locks on the filter. That didn't work. I'm just over it right now. I think it moved. I think it moved. It moved. Holy crap. All this time. All this time. This is day two of this. probably get my hand in there now and turn it but like my dad always said use your tools boy use your tools Oh yeah, there she is. There she is. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. There it is. Here is the two filters. So here's one. This is the one strainer that I've been straining with for the last several, several hours. And here is the other strainer. And this is the suction strainer. All right, strainer number two. Alright, there we are. Hydraulic fluid is in. Almost 10 gallons. Look how clear that is. Man, you can see both those. 
uh, strainers in there. Amazing. That looked like black motor oil before, and now you can clearly see. And even more, look at that. You can now see the sight glass has oil. Man. Okay. Let's get her buttoned up and get this thing started and see how she runs. all right so that does it it's all buttoned up one more shot can we see that probably not well trust me it's just over the mark so we have fuel <laughs> yeah fuel we have fluid in the hydro tank so let's get her started and see what happens but it actually sounded better yesterday when I started it turned the key over and it kind of spit and sputtered a little bit it sounds nice and smooth that's just all mental <laughs> you can see that self-leveling thing kick in too. That's kind of cool. I'm not even doing anything with the bucket levels out. That's awesome. there maybe it was the uh where the lines purged a little bit is that what that was but there was no backup beeper either interesting See what happens. 